Hello everybody, it's Jonic again. Welcome back to Shout Party's Undertale. Well, it's just me doing the playing, but you know what I mean. Last time we reached Snowden, got to know a couple of people. Today, we're gonna carry on. Over there's the library. Uh, I think it has like a lot of story related things. I'll probably go in there and play it in the episode, don't I? This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside? Sure, why not? It's empty. It's a mailbox overflowing with unread junk. I have a feeling that stands is their box. This place is really made with Christmas in mind, which at the time of recording this kind of feels nice since it is nearing the time after all. And like on the next screen you can see like as you walk further in a rather pattern and pattern like fog that occurs. Oh dear. Human Allow me to tell you some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. The admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person you think you are cool. These feelings. They must be what you are feeling right now. Uh, well, no. It's just like... I don't actually know how to, I feel, but really. I can hardly imagine what it must feel, be like to feel that way. Oh boy. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the Great Papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. Oh, but I wanted to be your friend. I can't be your friend. Well, I do. You're a human. So? I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Power. Popular. Prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus blocks away. Unfortunately, instead of befriending us, we, we have to, like, fight him. Papyrus, attack 8, 2 defense, likes to say, yeah ha ha yeah ha ha And he's lobbing bones at us. So typical. Papyrus whispers, yeah ha ha Do I dare do it? Fuck it. What? The flirting? So you've finally revealed your ultimate feelings. Well, I'm a skeleton with very high standards. Um, I can make spaghetti? Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. Let's date later, after I capture you. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's date later! After I capture you, I think you were about to say. Skip through that, it's got too fast. Papyrus is thinking about what to cook on his date. Can I spare him now? So you won't fight. Then? Let's see if you can't handle my fabled blue attack. And we just, we can just sit for it still for a while. Whoa, what's this? You're blue now. That's my attack. <laughs> You're blue now. Hmm, I wonder what I should wear. And like, you can't, unlike being usual, you can't actually just move your heart around like, 
Papyrus dabs marijuana sauce behind his ear. What ear? What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. We can't actually move our soul, like, around like normal. We have to press up to make it jump. Ouch. Papyrus dabs MTT brand Bishy cream behind his ears. Uh, I don't think that's what that's for, mate. Hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez! I'm getting my voices mixed up. It's quite systematic when you get figure it out. Papyrus dab. There's a re oh anime pal. Yeah, don't make me use my special attack. And I'm fucking up. Cute juice. How much is he gonna wipe behind his ears? I can almost taste my popularity future! I got butchered that line. As the music here is actually pretty cool, I'll give it that. I'm gonna need to use an ice cream. Papyrus! Head of the Royal Guard! What? Papyrus! I'm paralleled spaghetti! I don't think that's a word. Fuck. Whoop! Yeep! Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. It took him long enough. Undyne will be really proud of me. Wee! Ow! Where the fight gets really complicated now. If you um, you don't actually die if your HP gets like to zero. It can't even go to zero. It just stops at one and he captures you. The king will trim a hedge in my shape of my smile. What? Papyrus is trying hard to play it cool. My brother will... Well, he won't change much. You have little faith for your own brother. I'll have lots of admirers, but... Yes. Oh, shit. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Anyone like me as sincerely as you? Well, you've got an entire fan base, let's be honest here. Papyrus is cackling. You eat one half of the bicycle. You cover 11 HP. Someone like you is really rare. And dating might be kind of hard. Oh boy, is he getting naive. Ow. If you are captured and sent away... Papyrus remembered a bad joke Sans told and is frowning. Ugh, who cares? Give up! Give up or face my special attack. Yeah, if you do the 
I kind of regret doing fl picking flirt now because if you um, choose to just mercy, he'll just get to this part of the fight. Yeah, very soon I will use my special attack, and and then you'll be for it. Papyrus is rattling his bones. Not too long and I'll use a special attack! He's talking up big words, isn't he? This is your last chance before I use my special attack! Oh, is this the... Uh... Papyrus is rattling his bones. I'm not taking any chances. Behold! My special attack! Um. What the heck?! That's my special attack! Hey! You stupid dog! Do you hear me?! Stop munching on that bone! You... Hey! What are you doing?! Come back here with my special attack! Oh well, I'll just use a really cool regular attack. Papyrus is getting really ready for a regular attack. Yeah, like, this game really likes to uh, pull a curveball on you and really, like, make you shit yourself or something. But it really twists you, um, twists the knife and throws you off. Although... I'm wondering if, like, I'm going to expect too much of that later in the game, and, like, it's going to happen. <sighs> Here's an absolutely normal attack. Whoa! Yoink! For a normal attack, this is actually pr pretty hard to... Whoops. Cool... Dude. Whoa. You can't defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the Great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Oh, what a maroon. <laughs> I can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. Undyne? I'll never join the Royal Guard and... My friend Quantity remains stagnant. What should you do? Let's be friends. Really? You want to be friends? With me? Well then, I guess... I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wowee! We haven't even had our first date! But I've already managed to hit a friend, hit the friend zone. Uh, that's not really a good thing, Papyrus. Who not knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? Hear that, kids? That's how you make. That's how you start relationships. You taught me a lot, human. I hereby grant you permission to pass through, and I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then. When you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical spell sealing us all on the ground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can exit. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open a barrier with soul power. Then us monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is, well, he's a big fussy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say,
Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, can I go home, please? He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home think being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have a da date. Yeah! He's really over the moon over this now. Anyway, before we press on, there's actually a few more scenes we can, uh, well, go through. But first, I want to, like, stock up on, like, supplies, since I've nearly exhausted them all, um, dealing with the virus here. Uh, I need a couple more bicycles. Damn, now are they expensive? Uh, looking at my time out, I might have to actually cut it short this episode, so, um. Until next time, I suppose, um, this is Jonic from Shout Pie, signing off. Adios!